Hi, I'm Dr. Meredith Rausch, and I'm here to help you out today with your emotional intimacy. It's one of the five main types of intimacy, and sometimes things that we never think about can all be considered part of emotional intimacy. With you starting to feel like you are roommates or just kind of going along with the flow with your significant other, you're not alone. That's a pretty common thing, especially when there's just stuff to get done. Well, take a minute and reconnect, reinvest into your relationship, and I promise you, you'll start to feel more in balance of your life. In the 1990s, we have a pair of married psychologists, and they developed the 36 questions to help anyone fall in love. These questions were intended for total strangers, and in my counseling classrooms, I invite students to go on this journey with someone they know or don't know and to see, hey, does this really work? Can I fall in love in just one night? Well, the premise of it all is just because we simply don't take the time to be vulnerable with strangers. That's scary. We have our set list of questions we're going to ask and answer on a date or at dinner or over a glass of wine, and we rarely get down to the good stuff. But the good stuff is where we connect and where we start to feel intimate. So I challenge you, go out with your significant other of 30 years of with the new date person, with your friends over wine, with your book club members, whomever, a neighbor, just go out and ask these questions. Even if you can't get through all 36, just try them. Go ahead, Google 36 questions, make anyone fall in love and start asking away. See how much more connected you feel at the end of the night or the end of the day. Go ahead, increase that emotional intimacy.